Good morning, this is Pastor Jeff. It is Monday, August 12, 2024, here in my office with our daily lectionary readings. Psalm 57 is going to be our psalm reading. 2 Samuel 15, 13 through 31 is going to be the Old Testament reading. And the New Testament reading is going to come from the book of Ephesians, chapter 5, verses 1 through 24. We're going to be reading out of the New Revised Standard Version today. With it being Monday, we are also reflecting back to what happened at church on Sunday. Let us start with Psalm 57. Be merciful to me, O God, be merciful to me. For in you my soul takes refuge. In the shadows of your wings I will take refuge. Until the destroying storms pass by, I cry to God Most High, to God who fulfills his purpose for me. We will send from heaven and save me. He will put to shame those who trample on me. God will send forth his steadfast love and his faithfulness. I lie down among lions that greedily devour human prey. Their teeth are spears and their arrows, their tongues are sharp swords. Be exalted, O God, above the heavens. Let your glory be over all of the earth. They shall set a net for my steps. My soul was bowed down. They dug a pit in my path, but they have fallen it in to themselves. My heart is steadfast, O God, my heart is steadfast. I will sing and make melody. Awake, my soul. Awake, O harp and lyre. I will awake the dawn. I will give thanks to you, O Lord, among the people. I will sing praises to you among the nations. For your steadfast love is as high as the heavens. Your faithfulness extends to the clouds. Be exalted, O God, above the heavens. Let your glory be over all of the earth. I'm going to scroll down a little bit till we hit our Old Testament reading. Our Old Testament reading comes from 2 Samuel chapter 15, verses 13 through 31. A messenger came to David saying, The hearts of the Israelites have gone after Absalom. Then David said to all of his officials who were with him at Jerusalem, Get up, let us flee. There will be no escape for us from Absalom. Hurry, or he will soon overtake us and bring disaster down upon us and attack the city with the edge of the sword. The king's officials said to the king, Your servants are ready to do whatever our lord the king decides. So the king left followed by all of his household, except ten concubines, whom he left behind, he looked after the house. The king left, followed by all of the people, and they stopped at the last house. All his officials passed by him, and all the Sherites, and all the Pelonites, and all of the six hundred Gideites, who had followed him from Gath, passed on before the king. Then the king said to Idiot the Gideite, Why are you also coming with us? Go back and stay with the king, for you are a foreigner and an exile from your home. You came only yesterday, and shall I today make you wander about with us while I go wherever I can? Go back and take your kinsfolk with you, and may the Lord show steadfast love and faithfulness to you. But Idiot answered the king, As the Lord lives, and as my lord the king lives, wherever my lord the king may be, whether for death or for life, there also the servant will be. And David said to Idiot, Go then, march on. So Idiot the Gidai marched on, and all of his men, and all the little ones who were with him. The whole country wept aloud as the people passed by the king, crossed the Wadi Kinjan, and all the people moved towards the wilderness. Abiathar came up, and the Zadok also, with all of the Levites, carrying the Ark of the Covenant of God. 
They sent down the ark of God until the people had all passed the city. Then the king said to Zadok, Carry the ark of God back into the city. If I find favor in the eyes of the Lord, he will bring me back and let me see both it and the place where it stays. But if he stays, I take no pleasure in you. Here I am. Let him do to me what seems good to him. The king also said to the priest Zadok, Look, go back to the city and peace you and Abathah with your two sons, Amazah, your son, and Jonathan, son of Abathah. See, I will wait at the fords of the wilderness until word comes from you to inform me. So Zadok and Abathah carried the ark of God back to Jerusalem, and they remained there. But David went up to the ascent of the Mount of Olives, weeping as he went, with his head covered and walking barefoot. And all the people who were there covered their heads and went up, weeping as they went. David was told the Anthropel was among the conspirators with Absalom. And David said, O Lord, I pray you, turn the counsel of Anthropel into foolishness. We scroll down to our New Testament reading, where we will find ourselves today in the book of Ephesians, chapter 5, verses 1 through 14. Therefore, be imitators of God as beloved children, and walk in love as Christ loved us, and gave himself up for us a fragrant offering and sacrifice to God. But sexually immorality and impurity of any kind or greed must not even be mentioned among you as the proper among saints. Entirety out of place is obscene, silly, and vulgar talk, but instead let there be thanksgiving. Be sure of this, that no sexually immoral or impure person or one who is greedy, that is, the idolater, has any inheritance in the kingdom of Christ and of God. Let no one deceive you with empty words, for because of these things the wrath of God comes from those who are disobedient. Therefore do not be associated with them, for once you were darkness, but now in the Lord you are light. Walk as children of light, for the fruit of light is found in all that is good, right, and true. Try to find out what is pleasing to the Lord. Take no part in the unfruitful works of the darkness, rather expose them. For it is shameful even to mention what such people do secretly. But everything exposed by the light becomes visible. For everything that becomes visible is light. Therefore, it says, Sleeper, awake, rise from the dead, and Christ will shine on you. Here ends our readings for the day.